Hey guys, time for an updated declutter on my makeup collection. I'm gonna start with lip products today. And if you watched my old declutter series that I did back in 2012, I went through my entire makeup collection and I culled through a lot. I donated a ton of makeup. Like literally it feels like a ton of makeup. Like it, my collection is so much lighter compared to before. It takes up so much less room. I used to have these like two big, um, like with several drawers, like stacked full of makeup. Anyway, it was, um, it, it happened because of being, I guess, on YouTube, watching YouTube, and you get sucked into the frenzy, the buying frenzy, whatever it is, and things can get out of control. So anyway, um, over the past two years, since 2012, I've been going in reverse, so downsizing my collection. I'm very, very happy with how it's gone, and I want to continue on that course slowly, over time, whittling things down, culling through, just making sure everything in my collection is absolutely 100% something that I love to wear often. That's my goal. So here is my entire lip product collection. Everything is out. My lip liners, Revlon lipsticks, MAC lipsticks. These are just um, some, you know, mixed brand lipsticks. I've got Revlon lip butters, a couple other lip butters, my three lip glosses, and some of my fancier packaged lipsticks here. Oh, and fuck some kind of like the taller uh, lipsticks back there. So this is everything, my entire lip product collection. And I know that there are some in here that I don't wear and it's just time to, you know, I held on to them before in my last declutter thinking I might get around to wearing those and then I just never did. So that's, that's when I know it's time. I just went through all my MAC lipsticks and these are the ones that I've decided to keep. The two that I have up here are the same. These are both Tanorama. One is kind of a new one because it was a backed MAC so it was actually free so it's just a backup for this one which is almost scum. So Tanorama, Gel, Blankety, Fabby, Faux, Modesty. And then across the front row is Bibi Lamb 2, Cherish, Honey Love. On the side is Cream Cup, Hue, and Shy Girl. And the two back here, those are just uh, backups for two of my favorite lipsticks, which are Fabby and Faux. These I'm gonna go ahead and back to MAC now because they are scraped, yeah, pretty clean. Good enough for me anyway. So that's MAC Peach Stock, Viva Glam Gaga 2. This one is High Tea. That's one, if I do it back to MAC, I would get a replacement High Tea because that's a lipstick that I would really miss having. And then this is MAC Freckle Tone. And those guys are done. I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in my back to Mac bag. Here's the Revlon lipsticks. I just went through them and decided which ones I was gonna let go of, which ones I'm keeping. So here's what I'm keeping. I have Champagne on Ice, and yes, this is a backup. I know it's, I don't normally purchase backups anymore, but I thought that I'd lost that. It disappeared for a while. I finally purchased another one, and wouldn't you know it, that one turned up all of a sudden. So anyway, I decided to keep it just because I do use it all the time, so no worries there. This one is Honey Bear. Brazilian Tan, Apricot Fantasy, uh, Primrose. This is one of their Color Burst lipsticks. This is Soft Nude. And then there's two on the end here. These are the ones I'm actually gonna let go of. This is Pink Pout and Smoked Peach, uh, which are both beautiful lipsticks, but I just, I used to wear them and I just stopped. So I think I'm just gonna pass those on um, or donate them. Most of the items that I have, you guys know I don't throw anything away um, unless it's like totally used up or something, right? But I don't throw anything out. It always, always gets donated or given to family or friends. Here's my collection of Revlon lip butters. I think these are just so pretty. I love the packaging. I love to look at them and I think they're just really delightful products. But the thing is, I only actually wear one color. In the past year, I have only ever reached for one color over and over again. And that would be the Creme Brulee, the nude one. I love this. So I am almost done with that. And this is a backup for it, which is why I have it because I knew I was running low on that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that one off and that's its replacement. Other than that, all of these, I know you guys might be shocked because I love these for a long time. I'm gonna let go of all of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and pass them on because as pretty as they are, I just never ever wear them because the colors just aren't right for me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cap all of these and add them to my donate pile. I have three Victoria's Secret lipsticks and it's time to go ahead and let these go. I scraped this one to the bare bones there. Look at that. This was absolute. I love that lipstick so much, but it's finally done. And then this is Naked, which that's another one that I've scraped all the way down there. And then this is Incognito, which was a longtime favorite. So that's 
that's what's left of it. So it's almost gone, but it started like getting kind of discolored and kind of weird. So I think that it's just bad now. I have three lip glosses in the very back here, and I can tell you these for sure are completely done. I've had these two forever. I've used them and loved them for a long time now, for years. This is, let's see, White Russian from Buxom. Don't know why I can't remember that. And this is Brilliance from Chanel. It's a Chanel Glossomer. So both those guys are finally finished, as well as this little one. This was just a little deluxe sample. This was a Buxom Emma is the color. So those lip glosses are all done. I think this one's totally done too, actually. Well, just about. And I'm not going to bother digging in there anymore. This is a Torino Tarantino Leatherette. I actually didn't like this lipstick. It kept breaking and anyway, yeah, no need to go into it. But I think it finally, it finally went bad. So that's one reason why I don't like to have products sitting around is because if there's too much sitting around, you actually, you physically cannot get to all of them to wear all of them before they expire and if you live somewhere where it's hot and humid products tend to expire a lot faster so that's something that you do need to keep in mind uh, you know check them out give them a sniff see if they're okay still every once in a while kind of cold through your collection um because they do go bad and that's it's a shame you know if things are sitting around only to expire i'd rather have someone else um, getting use out of them this is buxom nudist I, I really like this a lot. Definitely keeping a hold of that one. I use that to top off a lot of different lipsticks. Um, here's another one. This one I picked up in Australia. This is Chi Chi Viva La Diva, and the color is Bombshell. It's one of those beautiful mauve colors, mauve nudes. And I would actually repurchase that, so if I go to Australia again, I would definitely pick up another one of those. Um, this one is, oh, this is Gino McRae Pink Passion in the color Oh, one nude. I got this one in Thailand. This is another one of those beautiful nude mauves. I love this to death. It smells so freaking good too. That's definitely a keeper. This is NARS Sexual Healing and this is a frosty one. It's like a frosty champagne. I use those kind of colors a lot so that is definitely one that I'm keeping a hold of and will continue to use it until it's completely gone. So these four I'm keeping and this Torino Tarantino leatherette is getting recycled because that thing is all done. The next couple products I want to go over are these two. Kind of like lip butters. Uh, well this is a lip butter here. This is the Cora's lip butter in jasmine that was a really popular one um, it did smell really good and it felt nice on the lips although this is kind of expensive so I, I definitely have no plans of repurchasing but that one is pretty much all gone um, I think I'll finish it up today I'll go ahead and use up the last of this today and then I'll recycle the package and then this one is from uh, it's oriental princess from Thailand and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous lip gloss, so keeping that one for sure. On to lip liners. I know I have a couple in here, oops, that are almost gone, so let's see where we're at with those. So I've been working hard to use up my lip liners, and that way I only have, you know, a few. Like, ideally, I won't have more than five. Three would be ideal, but we'll see here. Okay, so I've got Too Faced Perfect Nude, Perfect Lips, still using and loving that. Um, this one is Jordana Easy Liner in Latte. I think this one was almost done. Let's see here. All right, so that one, yep, looks like all gone. All right, so I'll set that one down here. This is Lancome Natural Mauve. This is a really nice one. Definitely going to continue using that. I have MAC Strip Down, that's always been like a long time favorite. Chanel Beige, I don't know if they make this anymore, can anyone tell me that? I, I need to look it up because I'm, I, you know, I've been using it up and I'm just kind of curious if I'm ever going to be able to get this again or if it's completely done. This one is Estee Lauder and Estee Lauder comes with, it's their automatic uh, lip pencil and it comes with a refill so that's what this one is here. So those are both Estee Lauder Fig. Here's another Jordana one. I love this one for years. Oh my goodness, I think I finally finished this one too. Okay, yep. Yeah, that one is totally gone. Not even a nub on that one. All right, so those two guys are done, ready to be recycled. And how many do I have left here? I'm not doing an actual inventory or account right now, but I'm just kind of curious if I got down to five yet. All right, so there's, there's five plus the refill. 
So does that count as six or is that still five? I don't know. These are both the Lakme 9 to 5 lipsticks. They're an Indian company and there's one that I wear all the time and one that I never reach for. The one that I don't reach for turned out to be Pink Slip, which for some reason it seems like the color kind of changes on my lips. I don't know what it is, but somehow it changes. So that one I don't tend to wear or try to wear anymore. This one I love though. This is Tea Break and it's a gorgeous mauve just one of those colors that I just love so much. So definitely keeping that one. I love it and wear it all the time. And this one is uh, another really special one. This is Hope Girl lipstick and I think it's a Korean brand if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's PK202 is the color. And it is such a fun pop of pink. Look at that. Uh, my friend from Thailand sent that to me. So definitely that is not going anywhere. And how freaking cute is that packaging? Oh my goodness with the leopard and then you can see the the color of the lipstick down there. It's so pretty. Okay, here's another one. It's Estee Lauder Vanilla Truffle. I had it for years, like seriously, like, I don't know, four or five years. And I got down to where it was almost gone. And now it kind of just smells off. So I'm, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm not gonna try to use it. Don't risk it. If you smell a product and it's like, it does not smell good to you anymore, then don't bother using it because it's not worth it. It could have bacteria in it and you don't wanna be putting that on your mouth. That's not good. So that's when I stop using products and I don't bother, you know, scraping up them any longer. Um, here's another one. This is L'Oreal, uh, let's see, what is this? Sheer Linen from their Color Reach line. Um, this one, I don't plan on repurchasing. It does smell really good and it's a pretty sheer nude. Uh, I'm going to finish it up, but I just don't have any plans to purchase any more of them. So that one I will continue using until it's gone. These are two really gorgeous nudes from Too Faced. Okay, this one's Naked Dolly and the other one is Nude Beach. I wear both of these. I wear Nude Beach probably more. But either way, I mean, these are both awesome nude lipsticks and they're so creamy and luscious. And then here's two lipsticks that I do not plan on getting rid of because I promised myself that no matter what, I would use these up to the very last because they are so dang expensive. So these are the YSL Rouge Volep lipsticks. This one is, let's see, seven, which is lingerie pink. I do know that one. See, this is two. So I don't know, is that sensual silk? Something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on those. I don't plan on repurchasing either of these. I will finish using them up though. And, oh, that's not a lipstick at all. That is a highlighter. So that's gonna be a different video. Highlighters, bronzers, blushes. Those will be coming soon. In the very back here, I have a couple of buxom lipsticks and lip foundations. Um, all four of these I love and use quite often. So definitely keeping these. I have Sydney Marrakesh for my buxom lipsticks. And then for the lip foundations, I have, let's see, one is nude, I think. Yes, okay, this one's nude and this one is undressed. So of this container, it looks like I'm only getting rid of these two. This one since it went bad and this one because the color changes on me and I'm keeping all of these other ones. Alrighty, so this is my new whittled down lip product collection. It all fits into this one container now. Isn't that awesome? I'm so excited about that. I've been working on it, you know, for a couple of years now and just slowly using products up. It takes a long time to use things up and you know, getting rid of certain items here and there if I realize that I'm not going to use them or if they went bad or something. That's the worst thing is having something expire on you. Oh my goodness. that That's what feels like such a waste. I know sometimes people ask me, well, you know, doesn't it feel wasteful? Like, you know, letting go of a product that you purchased? Well, not really because that money was already spent and I used the product and if it didn't work out having it or I realized I wasn't using it, what would be the bigger waste is to keep it hang on to it and let it expire within my collection instead of giving it to someone else who could use it and enjoy it. So as it stands now, I have 37 lipsticks and one lip gloss. And then for lip pencils, I think we already went over that. I have five and a half. <laughs> I count this one down here because it's a little refill. So yep, we're getting it down. So the goal is 30 lipsticks, no more than 30 lipsticks, and no more than five lip liners. So we're getting there. One lip gloss, that's perfect for me. So that was my lip product collection declutter. I just felt like doing a declutter because I don't know, like seasons are changing. I've been kind of cleaning my room and reorganizing some things. I just felt like it was time to kind of, you know, dive into the makeup again, check everything out, make sure things aren't expiring, make sure things are getting used up and make sure there's nothing in there that I'm not using. Um, so I would love to hear how many lipsticks 
or lip products in general do you have? I would love to know. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go now and I will see you in the next video. Bye.